Okay. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside. And, oh, I don't have all my lights on. And welcome to Somewhat Daily Tarot and Rune for the 22nd day of July 2021. Well, it's a 22 energy, so master number 22, the cosmic builder. Um, let's see. I think that I screwed up, though, on, on the esoteric influences for today. Did I say it was in Virgo? Oh, I did. It's not. It's in uh, uh, Capricorn, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, this should have been Sagittarius until Capricorn on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I screwed up and I, I, I have Virgo down from last week. Um, so, But I do have the correct maiden phase of the full moon today, though. So, so anyway, I apologize for that. Uh, it, it, I, I try to catch all all of these these uh, these things, but I I uh, sometimes I get interrupted when I'm when I'm gathering the information I'm transferring over. I use a spreadsheet. I put everything there, and then I and then from that that's what that's from what I do the uh, 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 esoteric influences and magical influences from for the week. And uh, so anyway, that was a mistake. But anyway, it is the maiden phase of the full moon. The full moon tomorrow. Uh, will be, uh, it goes full at 7.36 p.m., and it will be in Aquarius. Uh, it's in Capricorn currently, no matter what the esoteric influences say, so I'll have to go back and edit that. Oh, boy. Anyway, um, last, or yeah, on Monday when last we met, uh, let's see, we, let me move this stuff out of the way here. This is too big. I can't see what I'm doing. There, that's better. Okay. Now, when last we met on Monday, we had uh, Thurazaz and uh, and uh, Laetitia as the runes, and so there, that's just that that's basically breaking through challenges to joy and satisfaction. So then we had the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is like a doorway into new experiences. The King of Wands, uh, which could be a wise mentor of some kind. The Five of Wands, which could be playful competition. Uh, the challenge card, which was the fool to let to to take the leap of faith that it might be difficult to take that risk, but yet the benefit is the Knight of Swords, where it it shows you're definitely willing to take a risk. Um, it seems to be predicated mostly on on the wisdom of the King here, whatever that represents for you. Um, it it just seems like there could be something in the future, either in terms of starting a business. We talked about how things have changed work wise now. People have learned they can work from home. Uh, so you may see businesses shift, you know, maybe move out of one setting and into a, a less expensive one because they don't have everybody there every single day. So they can maybe rotate people in and out. Uh, but, but, but the bottom line is, is things are changing due to the pandemic. Um, we've learned a lot about ourselves. We learned what we can do. Um, we've had time to think about what our circumstances were at the beginning of this and then if you had to stay home if you were you know on on furlough or whatever uh and you weren't working you see there were a lot of things that were an impetus to wanting to make some changes and i think that we've been seeing that of late uh with both the cards and the runes and this was pretty specific so uh and we kind of had the same last week um yeah, new path, material achievement, let go of emotional security concerns. So I think that, uh, and then on Thursday of, of last week, it, it, we had the three of swords. So it suggested that maybe betrayal might be part of why you want to do what you want to do that's different. So either a sense of betrayal with the boss, or maybe it's just a work situation you just can't deal with anymore, you know? where people that you work with are always at one another and trying to undermine each other. And maybe it's just uncomfortable. And so whatever it is, it looks like what the readings have been doing of late is to, is to suggest that maybe there's something new on the horizon for you. And, and no matter how that came about, well, you know, just make sure that, 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 you know, you, you really look over everything and make sure that the type of business that you want to have, the, in other words, I think I gave the example of, uh, uh, of having a bunch of, uh, 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 Mexican restaurants, you know, several on a block for, for like a 10 block distance. That would be an example of too many taco places, right? Uh, or, or if you had too many, um, Italian restaurants or you had too many auto parts stores, we've got another auto parts store coming into this, this, this town of about what, 36,000 people. And I think that makes, oh, geez, let's see, one, two, three, 
for it, this is either our fourth or fifth one and, and again you know none of the others have closed they're all still operating they did throughout the pandemic and so so what are they thinking right so so that may that's an example of of this may not be the best choice to make at least not in this town so we'll see you know the the rune today is all yeast. This means the elk or the elk sedge. It means protection. Uh, it's also drawing down uh, uh, astral energies. It's the like the bridge, uh, basically between. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, the 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 rune lore is that it's the uh, Bifrost bridge between physical and astral realms. Is what this is. Uh, it represents higher consciousness and divinity and bringing all of that into, you know, whatever you're you're experiencing today, uh, your perceptions. And so so that's kind of like it's and it almost looks like you're raising your arms in supplication to spirit. Right. Or to the goddess, maybe. So. It seems that we're going to need some higher awareness today to protect us from whatever's going on, maybe. So let's see what we have as far as the geomancy rune. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. Uh, we have conjunctio or joining unity. Um, the thing about bringing spirit into the equation, where is it here? The thing about doing that, oh, there it is, is, is that you're acknowledging the oneness of humanity, the oneness of creation. You're acknowledging that we are in fact one collective consciousness and just because we might appear in different bodies here the fundamental reality that's just an illusion okay that is a shared illusion that we've all created that that uh, we're here together uh on this planet at this given time you know uh trying to figure things out and to and to and to explore the theme of life that we have for, for each one of us when we come into form and then from there, all that information goes back to the collective, right? Well, you know, at this juncture, we're pretty divided, you know, and, and, and you've got a lot of people that don't understand, well, this broke. Oh, that's just peachy, isn't it? Is it going to, is it going to still, st oh, I see. There's another thing here. Well, that's good. Crone issues. Anyway, <laughs> we've been pretty divided, but the, but the, and I think that the, that the true goal, you know, in form is to remember that we are not these bodies, that we do not have to stay in conflict, conflict with one another, that our fundamental truth is unity, and that we need to get on with things, you know. Uh, we need to heal the divisions of the past. We need to to, to get on a shared path forward. And uh, uh, sometimes I think disasters and tragedies, and, and in this case, a pandemic, can get everybody focused on the right thing, right? It's like when Katrina hit and uh, uh, I knew people, I actually knew some people, there was a lot of people that went down, they took, uh, they went down to help. They took their boats, there was like this boat convoy, small boat convoy, and they're going down there to try to figure out what to do and, and to help uh, that whole region. And so consequently, um, I think the folks that I knew, they were from somewhere, I think they're from Illinois, and uh, it was a business. And they just shut the business down for about, oh, I don't know, three weeks to a month. They let everybody know, because they were people we sent stuff to. Uh, well, we didn't send stuff, stuff to them, we, we bought them. They, they made, uh, they, they, they were like a manufacturer, a small manufacturing company. And uh, they made a part that we liked. And so we would special order it from them for, for our customers. Well, okay. So, so they took a month of their lives and they went down there. They took a boat. They, they took all their tools and they helped. A lot of people did that. But you see where you have something that's, that's this huge thing that's happened. And suddenly you've got people from everywhere. You know, when 9-11 happened, people went. People from all over the country went you know, to, to the site and to try to help and, and, and to do something, anything, right? It's that kind of energy that the pandemic could have fostered were it not for an idiot in the White House, okay? That's really what this was. And so he wanted everybody to be unstable, see? 
He wanted the world to be, un or the country to be unstable and to be destabilized so that he could get away with the crap he was pulling. We're finding that out now, of course, as more of his associates are being arrested. But, uh, you know, that's going to continue. Trust me on this. It's going to continue. It's what happens when, when it's someone with transnational organized crime becomes the president of the United States. The crime boss. <laughs> I don't know, man. It was all known. I, I, I don't know why this happened. I really don't. Why anyone would permit this, but it did. But anyways, now we're in this position, and I think that's why we're seeing a lot of this right now, of, of trying to to do things that are that are are stepping outside your comfort zone and trying to get into a place where where you're making some different decisions and that are better for your future. So, you know, maybe in the long run this will have been worth it, but I don't know how. Over six hundred thousand people dead from this. I don't know how any of that could be worth it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and see what the cards have to say. Uh, well, we start with the King of Cups, so he, this is not a comfortable card for me. To me, this is a very passive-aggressive man who's really more about his own uh, emotional uh, issues than anything else. He's very manipulative. He, although, when he's in his right, 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 you know, place in life, then he's uh, when he's when he's right with everything, you know, he's somebody who's compassionate and generous. Uh, the problem is, is like all the kings in the Rider Waite deck, they do not look you in the eye. And that always bothers me. But maybe the guidance that you got was uh, uh, compassion. Uh, maybe it was uh, uh, something that you could use. We don't know that yet. But here we have the Six of, of uh, Swords, where you're taking a journey over water. Looks like it's in the winter. They're huddled against the elements. They've got all their swords placed in front of them. Basically, this can either be a journey to new experiences or a journey to new, new or letting go of perceptions that no longer serve and you're ready to move on, uh, taking with you what, what you know to be true, for example. Usually, I read this as a shift in perception. So maybe you're being a little more, maybe you've struggled with the notion of, of, of starting something new. Maybe what you're hearing, maybe you're having a lot of self-doubt. Okay, maybe the king is introducing some self-doubt into the into the equation. So at this point, though, with the six, you're seeing a shift in perception. So you need to, you know, if you're experiencing self-doubt, then obviously you need to look at it differently. You know, or maybe the self-doubt is, is, is realistic to have. Maybe you realize that what you're doing is, is maybe not needed, or maybe you need a different approach or something. But at the very minimum, uh, it could simply be now that we're seeing them go across water to, to, to some new type of experience, then maybe you've resolved the self-doubt, okay, over what it is you want to do. Now, keep in mind, I'm still linking this to Monday, and it may not be. Well, we have the Knight of Wands. Last time we had the Knight of Swords. Now, again, he's fiery. He's passionate. He's on his quest to the Holy Land. You see that the... Uh, the three pyramids there in Egypt. He's not in battle because his visor isn't down. But at the same time, he's, uh, he's, he's working on behalf of the rest of us, basically. Uh, the knights are very passionate. They're uh, very focused. They're, the, uh, 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 they're on a quest. They're always on the quest to something. The grail quest is, is, is one uh, you can think of. Um, the Knight of Wands reminds me of, I have Knights Templar as, as in, in my ancestry. And Robert the Bruce is in my ancestry. And I've told this story before where um, I'm not only related to him, but when he died, and I can't remember if it was in battle or not, uh, but they took his heart to Jerusalem. They literally, that's that was a thing they did back then. They took his heart. They took Robert the Bruce's heart to Jerusalem, and it was the Knights Templar that did that. And I and and supposedly who it was, I'm also related to. So it it's a it's so weird. I just love doing ancestry. If you if you haven't done yours, <laughs> it's fun. But anyway, th this is this is uh, almost like uh, uh, you've resolved your doubt. You're headed off in the direction you need to go, and you're really excited about it. <clears throat> this is something where maybe you're going to uh, 
uh, this this might end up you you realize at this point that this might actually be something lucrative for you per perhaps but right now we're still looking at a six energy for the reading because there's no numbers associated with the court um so six is about harmony it's about shared purpose it's about shared direction and realistically isn't that what this is it's a shared direction you're going on with your family so the family must be uh, on board with this, you know, or they wouldn't be going with you in the boat. But the challenge is to awaken to some truth. 20th card of the Major Arcana, this is Judgment. We see Gabriel above blowing his horn. Now, just so you know, and did I, did this fall off? Did I go and I put it somewhere else? Oh, I think I did. Well... Okay, it doesn't matter. I can write it on the back of this, though. Um, the cross on the flag. Yeah, I don't want to do it on that. That's icky. The cross on the flag. I will just do another one. This is my interpretation. I want to draw it out so you see it. Here you have the abyss. Spirit. And form. This is the feminine side. This is the masculine side. We do this out here. Generally speaking, we reside somewhere here and realistically we should be where the x is okay he's wanting us to awaken to the truth of who we are that we are spirit infused into form that as we take the leap of faith which we had last monday with the fool we take the leap of faith we go down through the abyss which is this horizontal line here we go down through the abyss that has to do with the Kabbalistic tree of life, by the way, which let's see. I don't know what I've done with my copy of it. I've got I've got one that I, I pulled out of. I think it was Donald Craig's Modern Magic. And I think that that's where I got this or I might have gotten it from another hermetic uh, book. But anyway, it shows the tree of life and it shows where the, the major arcana falls on it. And so you have the uh, the you have the uh, magician and the high priestess and uh, the is the empress or no you have the fool the magician and the high priestess above the above the line of the abyss and then they take the leap of faith those are the creation energies and you take the leap of faith you come into form and there you know the gender you you know what gender you're going to be and all of that well you've probably decided that before taking the leap but but theoretically you don't once you go through the abyss that's the veil of forgetting that we go through well most of us go through some of us know that there's something weird about this whole thing right and and i knew but but lots of people don't they you go through that that moment of forgetting so that you can then get on with whatever it is you're going to do here if you're constantly knowing what it is ahead of time you know then you have this weird you know resonance that that, that other people don't experience but basically where we sit is somewhere down here in terms of awareness and where we need to be is right there if we could come into form, in other words, in a way that was conscious of it, of who we are as spirit, it would be a very different experience. And, 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 some, and the struggle would be gone. And so all of the, the, the impetus for change, the impetus for the choices we made would be less, would be less so or maybe non-existent. And, and, and generally speaking, when you don't have that nothese, that inner friction uh, experience in life, then you don't go anywhere, right? So here you have judgment. Everyone's standing up out of their coffins. Saint Gabriel, Gabriel's blowing his horn. And they're finally understanding what this was all about. The greater picture, in other words. And that's the challenge. When you're trying to make another decision over, over what you're going to do for your future, you really, that's the biggest challenge. Again, with the five of wands from Monday, you know, is this just simply playful competition or is there too much competition? Are there too many businesses like the one that you want to create maybe? Uh, and maybe you could tweak it a little bit to find your own little niche to where people are coming to you instead of to these other people, right? So again, uh, this is a this is a time of change. This is a time of rethinking, of reevaluation, where we're trying to figure out, are we on the path we want to be on? You know, and unfortunately, sometimes it takes something like this, the pandemic, to shake people up enough to disturb what they're doing enough to make them think about it. 
You know, this is how innovation happens. This is how great businesses are, are, are started. You know, ones that, that can yield a lot of profit, ones that can help the community. This is a time that, this could be a time for great innovation if we just would allow that to happen. Let's see the, uh, the benefit card. Well, we have the lovers. So here we are back to the six. That we're like with the six of swords, we now have the sixth card of the major arcana and the lovers. Again, another angel above. You see the sun's rays above. That's creation. This is a creation card. Resting on the clouds above. Here you see the depiction of Adam and Eve in their pure form. You see the oak tree behind Adam. You see the full vibrant apple tree with the serpent surrounding it. The tree of knowledge behind the woman. Now I want you to see something here. We're going to talk about this in terms of polarity real quickly here. Uh, but what we have here are, uh, see, where, see where each person is gazing. The woman, Eve, is gazing toward heaven, isn't she? She's gazing toward spirit, toward the, toward the angel above and toward the creator. Whereas Adam's got his eyes on her. So when we think about the serpent and the tree of knowledge, why do you think that was given to her? Because she had her focus on spirit. She had, in other words, she had her focus on the family. She had her focus on the, 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 the uh, uh, continuation on of, of humanity. And so, of course, the information was given to her because she could hear it. It wasn't that she was weaker. It wasn't that <laughs> this was the lie that was told, right? <clears throat> so that the men could be in charge. But in truth, this should have been an egalitarian type of experience where each one helps the other one. And nobody's got any more power than the other than the, than, than the other person has, right? It's a shared sense of power. It's a shared sense of, of, of creation energy. But instead, the, the, the power was really given to the woman which was then promptly oppressed right out of her. Had it remained so in this, in this state, had it remained so, then the, uh, the, uh, the emphasis or the, imp or, or, or yeah, the emphasis would have been on the maternal aspect of life or the feminine aspect of creation, which would include harmony and awareness and greater understanding. It represents the void from which all things are manifested. So, essentially, because we were never in balance, that's, that's why we are the way we are now. Because we couldn't see Eve for the person she actually was. Instead, that had to be lied right out of, out of existence, essentially. So I think that, that the fundamental awareness that we have here to make the decision to, in fact, maybe go start a new project or a new business or whatever, because this could be simply within your, your existing uh, work, your existing uh, uh, job that you have. Maybe, maybe you've got some ideas for, for within the, the business that you want to express to the, to the boss, you know. Not sure how to do that, not sure how to step out of your comfort zone to do that. But if this is about, about uh, uh, we've got two cards here that are emphasizing compassion, both the King of Cups and the Lovers. And so you have to be gentle on yourself. You have to let go of self-doubt. You have to know that you have the skills to do these things. Uh, if you don't, then go do what you have to do to get them. That was part of the wise counselor, the, what, the King of Wands in the last, on Monday's reading. Maybe it's that you go get some education to, to, so that you can do this. You take a course, you take a class online, what have you. There's lots of training that can be, that can be done online now uh, that can refine your skill set so that you can go then and open your own business if you want to do that. Um, but, but the bottom line is there's something that's shifting and there needs to be something else that you're doing, you know, a different kind of focus even. It, you know, this could take different forms. I mean, we've sort of set, centered this on maybe opening another business, 
but realistically it could take a lot of different forms of some kind of new endeavor, some kind of new perspective, some kind of new creative opportunity. Given that it was Wands on Monday, it seems like it has to do with your future, and, and that's typically uh, having to do with some kind of work experience, uh, particularly with the two of, of Wands. So a decision has to be made and you know maybe maybe what what you're the phase that you're at right now you've got your ducks in a row but you're just unsure you know so again take the leap of of faith and once you once you know that this is doable then don't be afraid just to 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 to, to do something about it you know no matter what it is you know even if it's just a shift in perception uh, that, that will then open up potentially new doors at, at another time. You know, how we see things matters. How we see things has got us into this conflict between one another that we're in now. We've, some people have decided to take the, the uh, conspiracy side of things as fact. They've listened to the former guy who is so in, who uses that to his advantage to keep people coming back and donating money to him. This is a big, big grift, and people need to wake up from that and understand that something else needs to happen now. And and we all need to come back together and make this a shared experience. That's with the uh, two sixes. You see the, the, the 20th card. You know, you see the two uh, Roman numerals for 10 on either side, one and, or well, one and one right here, you know, but you've got, you've got, uh, uh, You've got balance. You've got reciprocity within the 20. You've, that reduces to two. Again, a decision that needs to be made, you know, to, to awaken to the truth of the matter, you know, to drop self-doubt and all of that, if it, it, you, and then take that new shared path together, you see. So, again, you know... Um, I, I really think that things are shifting, uh, no matter in what direction here, no matter what it has to do with. And I think that the impetus has been the pa the pandemic. I think that it's allowed us to give have some time to reconsider things, uh, and and maybe just make some different decisions about our lives. So, um, hopefully that's that's going to be a positive experience for everyone. And uh, uh, so just see how this resonates for you. And if it doesn't today, maybe in the in the coming weeks it will. Maybe something will open up that you never thought possible. So um, explore it, get some advice, get some legal advice. Uh, uh, figure out, you know, if that's the direction you're going. Um, if this is something within an existing job where you're 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 thinking about. Uh, uh, you know, suggesting something, a different direction or a different project, you know, within the, your current job and you need to do that with the boss, you need to have all your facts. You need to have your ducks in a row when you go and talk to the person. And, and, and that way you can hopefully uh, be the impetus for some change within your job, you know, where maybe something, the project you want to do is going to reap a whole big benefit for the, for the business itself. Maybe it's going to bring a lot of money in, you know, uh, I've got one son who, who works in the tech field and, and uh, uh, he, he's, uh, he's a hardware designer, computer hardware designer. Um, that would be something somebody in his, in his, at his job would do. You know, comes like, well, here's an idea for a new chip to manufacturer. Here's, here's, the, here's all of the information that I've researched and, and all of that. That would be an example there where something could, could bring something really lucrative into the business. All right, which then maybe gets you a raise. So lots of things to consider here, but just know that that things are perceptions are loosening, and what we're seeing now are people willing to make a change, and so that may be what this is dealing with. So, anyhow, that's all I have for today. Um, look for the uh, esoteric and magical influences to come out on Monday. I'll do a better job on the moon information. <laughs> I put Virgo instead of, instead of uh, what what was it? It was supposed to be Capricorn or some such thing. I forget. No, it's going to yeah, it's supposed to be in Capricorn today. It, it shifted from Sagittarius to Capricorn, and then when the full moon is in is in effect, it's going to go to uh, uh, Aquarius. And so, so maiden phase today, mother tomorrow, and crone on Saturday. So enjoy that and uh, be good to yourself, be good to one another, and blessed be.